The name of this video is Why No Stars. And I've been looking into why we don't see any stars from pictures in the International Space Station. Um, and then I began to think, well, maybe, maybe it's just because of, you know, as they said, the cameras and the fact that the Earth shine, um, it just uh, blocks it out and it's very difficult to see. Okay, so why doesn't that work when they're not on the side of the Earth facing the sun? Good question. So think about this. Why is it that us being down here on terra firma, Earth, we don't have any problem at all seeing stars? In fact, you can absolutely see more stars than as the sands of the sea. Believe that that's what Abraham was promised. But look at this. Amazing, is it not? And some show such mystery as to what our galaxy is and where our little piece of the real estate in the neighborhood is. And we marvel as our ancestors have marveled and looking up into the sky, tracking the constellations, making detailed drawings and understanding and actually beginning to form calendars. And sometimes the depth of what we can see boggles the imagination. For our species, it's how we began to relate to God. We had no way to comprehend still don't, the heavens, the complexity, the mysteries, the contradictions, but yet we can see. So much so that if you're in a place where you have virtually zero background, right, you'll actually cast a reflection. So these images that I'm going to be showing you are all from going back as the early days of Mercury all the way up to today with the International Space Station. Well, there's the moon. We can see that. This is, I believe, Apollo 15 on the moon. Okay. Um, guess that's sunshine. Not sure because the shadow is going that way. So anyway, we'll move right along. So this is Skylab. Um, again, here's the Earth, but I think I see something way off over there. But again, no stars. Here we are on the moon. Neil Armstrong planting the flag and we see no stars. We see a shadow. Ah, this is actually from Mercury. Um, UFO, but no stars. I know this is really small and I'll get it up there for you. Again, part of Skylab. Gemini, Apollo, Apollo, Gemini. Oh, now isn't that odd? How is it that we can see that very clearly? And by the way, there's at least 100 plus miles of atmosphere above us. Okay, continue on. We can see alien bases. We can see footprints where there was supposed to be a shadow of the flag, but now there's no shadow of the flag anyway. Um, this is a curious shot. It's one of the few that I actually found that we might actually be in to say 
They're stars. Interesting. Okay. More Apollo. Again, no stars. Here we have the Gemini, and I believe this is the Soyuz uh, docking. No stars. Here we have I th one of the Gemini missions. Um, are we seeing something back there? Hmm. I don't know, folks. It's kind of diffused out, but that looks like stars to me, doesn't it to you? Pictures from Gemini down on the planet. Have no idea what's causing that, but we'll just move on along. And, of course, we know Sechi. And how is it that we can get pictures like this? Looks like a pretty heavy, dense star field to me. Why, well, that's the Milky Way. But still, this is uh, Skylab again. Look at the sun, by the way. Don't look like that today. Uh, again, Mercury. Gemini. No stars. Spacewalk. No stars. Look at here. Skylab. Apollo, Earth, Apollo, hmm, I think that is Earth in the background. Now, how that kind of, you know, this flag is very odd. Sometimes it's got a shadow in it, other times it don't. Uh, look at this. I found this one really interesting. Spacewalk on the moon, well, no, <laughs> moonwalk, excuse me. Gemini. Have no idea. As you can see, Skylab. Earth from the moon. I think you're getting my point that where is the stars? That's the moon. That's from um, Gemini. Very different looking sun, is it not? I marvel at this because I happen to study in detail these pictures from the International Space Station. It's not the same sun, folks, I can assure you. Again, no stars. And I know it's, I keep repeating it. Look at that. You use this for a reference. All of you who are avid um, sun watchers and everything else, that, I do believe, is our real sun. And it's quite different than the sun that we see. Now, in the artist's renditions, you can get sometimes they'll put star fields. But again, when we get the actual shots, maybe we caught a UFO there. I don't know. To where today we have satellites that catch the most remarkable things. More of our UFO. And we can go on and on and on. Um, just, I've gone back in the archives and folks, I can't find any pictures with any stars. Now these, I don't know if they've been photoshopped or not, to be candid with you. Uh, someone sent these. These are apparently um, pictures from the International Space Station. Uh, but again, very much a different sun, but no stars. No stars. Very different sun. Um, I'm not sure if this is a lens flare, what that is, but. And it's hard to uh, really say. Um, I look at some of these and I think some of this is authentic. But again, no stars. So I'm going to end this here. It's one of those questions. And here's another question I ponder. 
Have you ever thought about this? That the sunset you see is someone else's sunrise. That our sun is in a constant state of sunsets and sunrises at the same time. Figure that one out. All right. Talk soon.